This video is a first in a series on the animation designer. The animation designer was introduced in Easy Video Lab version 2 and it is uh, so has so much capability that we're really going to have to do a, a whole series of videos on it to get the full value of it. Now it, re it adds to what we used to have this image animation which was very basic animation and animation designer is far more versatile and far more capable and so in this video we'll just get oriented in the basic UI and the, how it works and we'll dive in deeper in separate videos. So I've created just a little sample here. I'm just going to go ahead and rewind and play it. It's just a simple emoticon face kind of bouncing. And we'll see here that you can see as I, if I have it selected, I can see the path that it's going on. So we're not dealing with weird things like keyframes. We actually can see the path that it will animate on. And not only that, if I'm using the timeline, I can scrub along and I can actually see where it is along that path. So one of the values of that is I can see whether or not it's coming from fully off the stage or not, which it is. And if it's not, I can change that line, which we'll cover in separate videos. So over at the, in the UI, you can see here, it's always context sensitive. When I've, I've got that selected on the timeline, then I'm going to see this here. Now we have the ability to import either an image or import built-in shapes. You can see that there's a, a series of built-in shapes. Most, most likely those will be added to. Uh, so you, when you're doing a built-in shape, you select the shape, then you select a color, then you collect click on this create color image and it's going to add that to the stage. Um, so you have the ability to browse to find any images. This is what I've done here. This is one of our included assets with Easy Video Lab 2. So moving on down, we have uh, also the ability to specify a, a path. There's a bunch of paths here. They can be rotated. It defaults to what, we're, what is shown here and then uh, we have a rotation tool as well. If you don't select something, this uh, line will be the default uh, line that's selected. In this case, I uh, had it coming in from the left initially, and I just used the rotate, rotate tool. I typed in 90 and hit enter, and rotated it 90 degrees so that it was coming from the top rather than from the left. And we'll be covering this in, in more detail, but I'm just going to go ahead and move along in this UI. You see here that we have the ability to size numerically, and you can constrain or not constrain those proportions. We can flip. We have everything is uh, for the actual animation is divided into these four tabs. We have in options, we have uh, wiggle options for after it comes in, out options, and then we have the ability to add some text. And we'll dive deeper into those in separate videos. Uh, we'll just quickly look at the settings for this particular animation. You see here that I set it to in speed of two, which means it comes in over that animation plays out over about two seconds. Let's go ahead and see that on the timeline. You can see that by the time we get to two, that animation has stopped. And that duration three is the overall duration. Now, because I have the out animation set to leave on stage, it sort of overrides any out or you know animation. Of course, I can change that if I wanted to. Again, we'll cover that in separate videos. Coming back here, I've got the ability to specify the bounce uh, strength, which I've left at the default. And one kind of important option here is this uh, squash side. So because I rotated this, uh, it would normally be, uh, especially if I had auto rotate on, it would most, most likely be from the right hand side. So this is what it would look like by default. And that doesn't, of course, that doesn't, that's illogical. So I can change the squash side to the bottom to make it more realistic. And of course, we have some options down here, zoom in, fade in, and so forth. And again, we're going to be diving into more depth in separate videos. But that is an introduction to the animation designer in Easy Video Lab 2.